Alright, alien, welcome back to Dishonored 2. Uh, my game crashed, but I wasn't recording for long. What I did was, I found out where the two blueprints and the one painting was that I missed. One of the blueprints and one of the paintings was in Duke Abel's office. The painting was on the wall next, like, to the right of the door, and the blueprint, blueprint was on that side of the room as well, in between two bookcases in a cabinet. And the other blueprint that I got was in the... Roller Boulevard place, which is outside of the Grand Palace, but just as you're about to enter the Grand Palace door, which is beyond the Wall of Light, to the right of that, there's a uh, an underground, like, this is like a shelter wooden area, and there's a furnace, and there's a blueprint right near there. So, yeah. Anyway, travel log. My lungs are still burning. I thought the coughing wouldn't stop. Megan's fermented shark broth helped me a bit. Batista was in worse shape, worse shape than I thought. The dust district, they call it, but the problem isn't just the bad air. It's the stress of a living constant fear, constant danger from the fighting between the Howlers and the Overseers. Now that I've gotten rid of Liam Byrne and Paolo, I'm hoping things will be a little quieter. Both men were willing to sacrifice the lives of everyone in the district for power, so they both deserve what they got. But I still don't feel good about it. This is where I grew up, my home. Duke Lucro Bell was going to pay. Aramis Silter was never meant to be caught up in all this, but he played a key role. He supplied the Duke's inner circle with a place to hatch that greater scheme. In Stilton's, in Stilton's home, I could see both the past and the present. I watched a seance, during which Delilah Copperspoon's spirit was brought out of the void, where she's trapped. And to our world, I saw the witch Brianna Ashworth bind Delilah's spirit to an e effigy made of bone, which was the which was then given to Duke about God. This is the secret to Delilah's immortality. It is also the secret to her uh, undying. I just haven't worked out all the details yet. Goodbye, Jessamine. We knew this time would come, but I lost more than just your spirit. I am less than I was. I can feel it. Did you take part of me with you when you find when you fled the cage of your heart? My friend, my lover, and my and confident my empress. A different spirit is now trapped within the heart. Delilah Copperspoon's spirit. Jealous, angry, selfish. I have no use for this type of counsel. For weeks now, all I've wanted to do was kill Duke Abel, but that's not what I did. I think Jessamine would approve. The Duke's political double is in charge now, and the real Luca Abel is, um, is under care for his illness at Adamaya, raving about being the real Duke. Now, someone was not born... Now, someone who was not born to the Artisky, I'm... Um, Aristocracy will rule over Zakonus. An interesting idea. In time, the people will forget the selfishness, the selfish, cruel man who lorded over them for so long, and they'll learn to trust a man they see as Duke Luca Abel, the mirror image on the outside, but wholly different within. One last task now. Hold on, Emily. I'm so close. Dunwall, my other home, full of memories, now tainted by someone else's power fantasies. I can't wait to give Delilah's her nasty spirit back and be done with it. I still don't know how much of what she claims is falsehood. It's true that she has some of Jessamine's traits. It hurts to admit that, because I don't want to see Jessamine in anyone except Emily, and I see too much of Jessamine in our daughter. Not only physical resemblance, the sad... I'm um, the sad from when someone tells me a mean joke. The sweet smirk... Wait, the sad? Okay, um... The sweet smirk to Wyman during the council meeting when she thinks nobody's watching. The sharpness in her eyes when she argues with natural philosophers twice her age. I want to, be, I want to bring that light back into her eyes. Undo Delilah's darkness. How many times did Emily tell me she wasn't a porcelain doll when we were training? Always asking for more, smiling at the bruises and scratches. I want to watch her press the attack again, screaming at me in exhilaration. I want to be alive again, my little girl. Oh, that's sad. There's also a bone charm here, but I can't get it yet. Now, the reason my game crashed was because we're meant to go talk to Anton. But I went out here because it seems we need Megan's key to get into the cabinet. I killed the Duke. Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna end the recording quickly just because it might crash again. Oh. Oh boy. So. If anyone's played this game and they know all the secrets, you may still love this bit. Um. 
so my game did crash when I tried talking to Megan, so I restarted my computer. Not gonna talk to her this time. I do have a want the key from her because the Duke. Hey, there's something there important. I wanted a chance to talk. Yeah, I know, but every time I talk to you, I crash. You guys need to see something. Remarkable what Eliva has accomplished. Coming from such a background, no one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death. As Delilah's puppet, no one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Sirkonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. You may remember that it was the ending speech for the Brigmore Witch's mission. And then there's this. Megan Foster's notebook. What day is it? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know what will happen. No one can, but I have a feeling that we'll be dead soon. Everyone dies, just like my sweet Deridre. Twitching in the mud, but I think death is very slow. It's very close now. The air feels strange. The wind is coming from the west. I saw a dead girl floating in some from some foam. Don't go to Dunwall, Billy. That's what I'm reading from all the signs. I could run. Finally try and find him at long last. The old knife himself. They could rent another boat. They don't need me. Not really. So I could run. I should run. Haven't I had more than my share of blood? So why am I still here? Megan is fucking Billy. Megan is Billy from the knife of Dunwall, who ends up getting corrupted by Delilah, which stands to what she said in this game, that she was in their little predicament, and almost fell into her word for killing Dord, but got exiled because of it. Oh my god. <sighs> That's just... At least the situation with the Duke is behind us. Let's not forget that small detail in all this. Drunken despot. I won't, don't worry. I do want to find this last audiograph. I'm still aboard this creaking thing that may have I doubt a my apartment on Cordon's bridge is as I left it. Once the designer of mighty ships thrown against the malevolent ocean and large enough to heave the great Leviathan. This is over. I must visit the Academy of Natural Philosophy and shock the them all. Majestic ships swim to the luxurious cabins fit for an empress. Where are those vessels now? They're far too important to carry an old man like me. I've been abandoned by my own creations. But maybe... That's the way it should be. Haven't I been cruel? Selfish? Perhaps I should be forgotten, consigned to the junk heap. Maybe I should die at last. And there's a chance I will on this final escapade. To Dunwall, then. We'll see what's left of me. I hope you don't die. Okay, where is another audiograph? Because there's an achievement for listening to all Megan and Anton's audiographs on the whale. Dreadful whale.
Okay, I'm gonna try talking to Megan again. Well, sir, I wanna check something first. I made a vow I wouldn't come back here. And that's twice I've broken it for you. It's okay, don't worry. Letter to Billy Lurk. <laughs> Billy, I ain't know your address, so I just gave this letter to a mudlock who knew the lay of the area and hoped for the best. You and I ain't got no reason to like each other, but Fennec liked you good enough so that... So that's why I'm writing. Anyways, he's dead, and I thought you should know. It was that old hound, remember? Old wound, remember? It never did heal. We tried every kind of cure and poultice. You know what I think? I think maybe the boss cut him. Maybe on purpose, maybe not. You know how it was back then. Speaking of, I tried to find the big knife, but no one's heard a thing in years. Don't know if he's alive or what. Anyways, out of respect to Fennec, if I ever see you, I won't kill you. Katrina. Well, that's good. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna end the recording quickly just so I know I if it does crash for me talking to Megan, I will have this recording. Must be aware that <sighs> All right, Billy. Five years. Megan. People have called me that for a long time. It's Billy. But it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Yep. I remember seeing that written down somewhere a long time ago. Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing Lord. and had run out of rope. I... <laughs> this is hard to admit. Weren't you... You are missing... You weren't you missing an arm? Our leader... Was what the assassin the fuck? and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together, we were paid to. You helped Dowd kill Jessamine. Yes. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back, but I can't. Get a choice. <laughs> You're a monster. You think you know what regret is? <laughs> you helped a man murder the woman I loved in front of our ten-year-old daughter. There are no words for that crime. I figured you'd react like that. Maybe anyone would. I just wanted to tell you. You'd better hope I never see you again, Billy. I'm taking the skiff, and I'll go alone from here. Huh? <laughs> For Jessamine. <laughs> okay, it actually doesn't do anything after that. <laughs> Anton! Oh, Anton! And, uh, fall. Hey, Anton. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, friend. You had to know Megan was involved in Jessamine's death. Well. This is not high chaos, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is actually pretty hilarious. Oh. Okay. You've changed since those times. I can't ever forgive you for what you did, but suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah, we've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did, or became what Delilah became. 
I know you'll never get over it. But neither will I. No, I don't think you will. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff and I'll go alone from here. Oh, we're going alone no matter what. Well, I want to do something. You should have told me that Megan helped Dowd kill Jessamine. <laughs> I want to see what happens when I put Anton in front of uh, Megan. I. What have you done? Why would you do that? You got a problem? Just take the skiff and go. I was expecting a cutscene. Where is this other audiograph though? Because it says all the audiographs on the Dreadful Whale, so... Am I missing one? I didn't end up going to the back to the black market, I just remembered. That sucks. Hmm, that's very weird. What's this? Go to Dunwall Streets. If old Samuel could see me now. <laughs> um, was it riding your own boat? I miss Sammy. Death to the Empress. You must confront Empress Delilah Copperspoon before she changes all the world with her will. Enter Dunwall Tower and find a way to reunite Delilah Copperspoon's spirit with her body to make her mortal again. Only then can you eliminate her and take back the throne. I'll do this. I also got an achievement for reading the book, by the way. Um, it's called Years Ago Another Time. Take me to the wall tower. Bring me back to the cage in my own chest. Oh, I will. Delilah will be made mortal again. You made Emily's mother slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In a child's coffin. Her skinny legs tucked beneath her because I couldn't afford proper burial. While my father rests in the Imperial Crypt. You're lying. You still can't accept it. You were sent to Dunwall as a gift, like a box of candies, because that's all you were worth. I had your mother's heart, and my body sleeps in your bastard daughter's bed. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. 
fascinating. This is where the first game used to take us. And there's the dreadful whale, I think. Well, I am gonna save. And we got two new bone charms from that, so I wanna have a look at them. A healthy appetite food restores and enemies miss with fire projectiles more often. Eh. How much whale burn have I got? I got zero. Wow. Well. serious I really really wish I had that um, bone charm still for they can't smell me I got rid of it accidentally <laughs> and I knew it was gonna fuck me over all right then Our entrance. Well, I want to have a look around first. So rune over there. Looks like there's the oh, there's an outsider shrine as well. Are you serious? Where's the outside shrine? Ah, oh, right there. I need to go a slow path then. And I don't think this is with the area where Dishonored 1 used to take us. I think it's a similar area, but not the same. I don't think that counted, did it? Stats. Nope, haven't been spotted. Black market. With all the Hard shops in the district shuttered, the new Empress and her crew still might be your best bet. Oh, it's this place. So I have to buy it off him. That's fine. Hey. Step up and see what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry? Oh yes, I do. Oh fuck yes. Boot stealth. Boot stealth. Well, we could do business. Thank you so much. Oh yes. What's this for? Deal more sword damage against magic use enemies. Deal sword damage against clockwork soldiers. <laughs> If I could one shot them, that'd be cool, but then they wouldn't have time to notice me. But if not, I'm just gonna buy upgrades that I think I'll need. Um, no! I'll take that I didn't mean to do that. Aim, lock up to three targets at once, firing a single splinter shot, and fires bolts at a high rate, semi -auto. Nah, I'd prefer this one anyway. Okay, let's get some stuff. The city is falling apart. Uh, the key to the City Watch Armory. Shopkeeper's young son snatched the key to an abandoned City Watch Armory near the gate to Dunwall Tower. 
This checkpoint was used to <sighs> stock military equipment, which might be grave proof useful, I mean. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. And I'll use the rest on that. Thanks. Come back next time you need something. I will. Don't worry. I'm going to save. And now, I need the outside of Shrine. <sighs> I wonder what happens in new powers mode, like does the story change in a slight way? I wouldn't think it did, but then again it might. Well, that didn't work out. And after I get this outside of shrine, I'm just going to like check all the buildings just to see if anything's different. Obviously, there'll still be enemies around, but I have to take them out. It's fine. I think this is going to be one of those missions where it's not the hardest mission. Um, but it has a lot of story into it. And that's what I like. I don't like final missions being the hardest. I like final missions being enjoyable, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, sometimes you can make something hard and yet still enjoyable. But other times... <laughs> yeah, some people fail at it. Same place as last time. Okay, I'm hating my own stupidity right now. It's so simple, but yet I keep on failing it. Wait, what? I can open this. Interesting. The reason time didn't slow down there is because I was pressing uh, S still. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, lucky. Serious? Oh my god. Why is this? Why am I being so childish? There was someone else here. <laughs> Where is this place? Was this place here last time?
Interesting. Welcome home, Lord Protector. The while was waiting for you. She's been sleeping badly for the last couple of weeks. Because that piece of her you're carrying around has been calling out. Begging her to take it back. She's going to. She feels the same craving, but she'll fight the death to stop you from putting her spirit back where it belongs. You were careful in Karnaka. Let's see how that serves you in the tower where you and Jessamine fell in love. Delilah's got the throne and your daughter, but now she's got a secret as well. Yep, that's true. We got two more runes. So, I'm gonna upgrade Possession. Um, so, Lasting Possession, Corpse Possession, and Chain Host. I switch between hosts by pressing left mouse button while aiming at a new host, allowing you to cover a greater distance. Disguised. If all possession upgrades are unlocked, you can effectively jump from human, animal, and dead hosts. Well... That's what I'm hoping for. Though, I don't think I'll be jumping the dead hosts, or at least unconscious, because then that would mean the person's actually noticing the unconscious body, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna save up for human possession next. Very nice place, though. Alright, so basically I had to restart the mission because I realized I missed something. A blueprint on the ship. Now the thing about this final mission I've realized is that there's several areas. One of them including the Dreadful Whale and you need to get something before you leave. Remarkable what Delilah's accomplished. Coming Indeed. from such a background. Taking the throne. There should be a blueprint somewhere around here. At least, the situation with the Duke is behind us. Let's not forget that small detail in all this. There it is. Dual-lated Galvani Weave. Did I get this before? I don't think so. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly get to where we were up to before, and then we're good.